Hey guys, it's Jake from Evolving Daily. I want to do a real quick video review on the Sheepdog Systems 2.0 gear and tourniquet carrier. Uh, I've got three of them on here. Uh, they can carry all kinds of stuff. Let's go ahead and take a look at how they work and what they'll hold. Alright guys, so this is a pouch from Original SOE Gear with three of the Sheepdog Systems tourniquet and gear holders on them. So you can see this one is a prepped uh, cat tourniquet. I'll put a link below. If you don't prep your tourniquets, that's something you really should look into. Uh, they deploy faster and you can get them into use sooner. So right now we've got just a standard AR mag. Uh, this is rigged up. I'll call this the X-Rig. I don't know that there's names for them. Um, but these, these holders are configurable. I'll, we'll call this the X-Rig. Um, you can just pull your mag out. It goes in and out simple. You can adjust the amount of retention you have. It's not going to come out of there. I mean, this can jostle around and it's not going to go anywhere. But as soon as you need it, it does. Uh, a rat's tourniquet. This is how I believe they ship in this uh, two horizontal loop kind of configuration. Um, but a rat's tourniquet deploys super simple. Alright guys, so obviously I had tourniquets and uh, PMAG in there. Anything that will fit in these loops, uh, you just stick it in, adjust your retention, and it's there. Flashlight, um, put a, a Glock mag in this one, dial down our retention with the, with the sliders. Uh, here's a set of just um, uh, side cuts and this will hold everything in place. These I would actually probably put in uh, have it configured like this one and probably give it a little more retention but it's super versatile anything that you can figure out if it's about the size of this thing or it can be a little bit bigger um, it works. You just kind of shove it in there. I've even played around. I don't know why you would ever have it like this but you can store a PMAG up on its side just in case. I don't know why you'd ever use that, but it works. Um, so anything you can really figure out to put in there, it'll hold it. Uh, these things are inexpensive. Alright guys, so now let's look at a couple different ways to configure them. I would call this the X-Rig. Uh, it They have four holes and you can weave them in and out however you please. I don't know how that's focusing. But um, these two are the ones that I use most often. There's a couple other ones you can do, uh, but I haven't played with them that much. One way that I really like to do it, so basically you can set it up on PALS webbing or on Velcro, because on the back there are tabs of Velcro. So let's go ahead and flip it over. We have a little piece of Velcro right here, and this is where I usually run it. Um, we'll put on the cat tourniquet. So guys, this is kind of how I carry uh, this tourniquet on this kit almost all the time. It's just attached on there with Velcro. If you peel it off, it's Velcro on the back. Stab it on there, and he uses good, good Velcro, and there's good Velcro on this kit. So if any point in time during the day, um, roll up on something and need to use a tourniquet, you literally just grab it and pull it out and there you're good to go. Alright guys, so there it is. That's the Sheepdog Systems 2.0 gear and tourniquet holder. There it is with a cat tourniquet and an NSW admin pouch. There's a few different colors as far as the shock cord. Obviously red, green, black. I'm not sure but I think orange and coyote maybe. Um, but he's a really nice guy. I've talked to him a few times online. These things are inexpensive and they're, they're really versatile. So I'll put the link below to sheepdog.systems, no .com or anything, um, and they're sold on SOE, but you should definitely pick up a couple of these. They're, they're pretty handy. But remember, guys, you need to be prepared to thrive while others survive. Thanks.